some of the medical professionals who make money by mutilating the bodies of young women are now being sued for what they've done. Case in point, in 2020, at the, po- at the age of 30, Camille Kiefel says she was approved for a double mastectomy after a few virtual visits with doctors at gender clinics in the state of Oregon. Now she's suing her social worker and her therapist, as well as the clinics involved. I understand the out- outlines of your suit, but tell us why you think you were wronged, apart from the legal, uh, the legal case you're making. So part of it was that um, so I sought out it's it's okay. I'm going to give you a second to collect yourself and and ask and and that's all right and and ask your attorney about the case that you are making. They have an obligation to treat them as an individual and to treat them uh, according to evidence based medicine. Um, yes. And they to they met her one time each and wrote a letter to have healthy body parts removed. I think that they were highly influenced by an ideology, and that has yes. no place in our medical system. And had they looked at the underlying health issues, which, as those resolved, I realized that I was no that I was not non-binary, that I was a woman all along, and had been dealing with trauma. Oh. Um, then I I would have never needed the surgery. And so right. they have a responsibility to their patients to look at look at things from a nuanced per- perspective and not be influenced by ideology. Well, exactly. I mean, if they treated cancer mm-hmm. patients like that, no one would survive. That's and so nicely put. I really feel like some people in the trans community and the trans medicalists and the doctors really, really target the most vulnerable of us. I have borderline personality disorder. And I know for a fact that this is the reason for my transition. Um, It's a very difficult mental illness. And uh, one of the core features is not having any sense of self or identity. And um, my doctors knew this. I wasn't happy as a girl, so that meant I was a boy and I was trans. And so I... I just um, took the cure that was handed to me. Um, I, I was told that I was being given a cure, and I, I wouldn't want to kill myself anymore. Um, and it wasn't true. There are so many mental health disorders that make you hate your body. And the solution isn't to change your body, it's to fix your brain, you know? Um, I just don't want anyone else to ever feel this way. I lost my voice, I lost my chest. I don't know if I'm going to be able to have kids. I'm sad for myself, of course. But I'm sad for humanity and the children. I'm angry. What's going to happen to the kids and the youth? And there's so many, like, there's so many. When we get 30, 40-year-olds that are going to be like, what the f*** did I do when I was 16 or whatever, like, and you can't go back. I really, really hope that all these professionals get their friggin' karma because... I know that some of them don't realize and some of them might be brainwashed and whatever, but some of them know exactly what they're doing.